I'd like to give you a few quick navigation tips as you start to read through the conceptual chapters in this ebook. Each of the conceptual chapters is organized around a particular domain in the culturally responsive and socially just counseling model. You may want to click on that domain and revisit the content in chapter two that describes the key concepts and then particularly learning outcomes related to that particular domain. Use your back button to go back to the chapter that you're in. Each of the conceptual chapters is organized according to the competencies that are embedded within the particular domain. So in this case, we're looking at core competency one, two, and three. I've added this table at the beginning of each of the conceptual chapters to make it easy for you to navigate to the section of the chapter that deals with a particular core competency. So for example, you may want to look at the competency two related to intersectionality. Click on that link and it takes you to the section of the chapter that begins a discussion of core competency two. You can use the back to top of chapter link to come back to this table. Or you can look at core competency three. One of the other things you may want to do is revisit core competency three directly in the expanded culturally responsive and socially just counseling model in chapter two. By clicking there, you can see the learning outcomes and the key concepts that are associated with core competency three. Use your back button to go back to chapter three, go back to the top of the chapter. The other useful navigation tool for each chapter is the table of key concepts. You may want to explore a particular concept in a nonlinear way throughout the book. And one of the ways that you can do this as you're looking through the conceptual chapter is by clicking on the concept in this particular table. This will take you to the section of the chapter that deals with that concept. I've bolded the concept that's the focus of this section so that you can also easily follow the link to the glossary. Read the definition of intersectionality and come back to that section of the chapter. You may also want to explore other concepts that you're less familiar with. So for example, the concept of cultural identities. You can go to the glossary definition and come back to your place in the chapter. Use the back button to go back then to the table at the beginning of the chapter and pick a different concept that you want to explore. Again, you can go to the glossary definition, use your back button to come back and go back to the table at the beginning of the chapter.